Lewis adjusts his drone's camera. Squinting against the Manchester drizzle at age 30, he's built a successful YouTube channel with 150,000 subscribers, all eager for his next ham radio adventure. It's raining. His beard glistens with raindrops as he presses the controller's takeoff button. Rain or shine, this video is getting made today. Today, we're exploring the Saddleworth Moor Towers. Let's see what secrets they hold. The drone soars, revealing the stark beauty of the moorland. Lewis narrates excitedly about the tower's history and technical specifications. Yet, as he watches the footage later at home, something feels a bit off. The towers seem to shimmer for a split second, then appears like a mirage in the desert as a sandstorm engulfs the area. He panics and switches off the computer. In his next video, Lewis visits a vintage radio shop in Manchester's northern quarter. Check out this beauty, he says, holding up a 1950s shortwave set. But when he tries to tune it, he hears only static and a faint repeating pattern he can't quite decipher. Some weeks pass and Lewis is now filming at Jodrell Bank Observatory discussing radio astronomy with his viewers as he stands beneath the massive Lovell telescope. As he ponders signals hitting the dish from millions of light years ago, a strange thought occurs to him. He can't remember his own childhood. He struggles to recall his parents, their faces or his school days. Disturbed, he cuts the video short and heads home. Back home, Lewis scours old photo albums and social media, finding plenty of memories, but nothing from his youth. It's as if his life only began a few years ago. He books an appointment with his doctor and decides to discuss and investigate the mystery in his next video. For his next shoot, Lewis travels to Blackpool to film the famous tower. As he sets up his equipment on the beach, he notices the crowds seem repetitive. The same faces appear multiple times, like NPCs in a video game. He zooms in with his camera, and for a moment he swears he sees pixels instead of people. Glitches and freeze frames seem to happen when looking both in and out of the camera. He calls his GP again and checks the appointment is still on schedule. He gets in the car and returns home. One evening, editing footage of walkie-talkie range tests in the Peak District, Lewis noticed something in the background. A glitch? For a split second, the world seems to pixelate. He replaced the clip, but it's gone. Frustrated, he posts on social media, asking if, if any followers have experienced similar glitches in reality. The responses are a mix of confusion and concern for his mental health. Determined to get to the bottom of these strange occurrences, Lewis decides to live stream from Winter Hill home to a forest of transmission masts. As he sets up his equipment, the sky flickers. Did you see that? He asks his viewers. The chat explodes with confusion. Suddenly, Lewis's radio picks up a transmission. Simulation 23A, nearing completion. Prepare for shutdown. The world around Lewis begins to dissolve. Buildings, trees, even his own hands bend and morph into odd shapes. In his final moments of awareness, Lewis realizes the truth. He was never real. He was an AI creation inside a simulated world, made for entertainment, a character in someone else's YouTube video. And that, viewers, concludes our AI-generated story about an AI-generated YouTuber. Just as Lewis questioned his reality, we must question ours. Are we too characters in some grand simulation? Where does one layer of reality end and another begin? This has been Meta Realities, your weekly dive into the philosophical implications of nested artificial intelligence. Join us next time as we explore.